All right, now, if you're not familiar with the story, uh, this was a fight that took place this weekend in South Africa. Now, initially, when I saw the fight or this clip, I thought perhaps maybe the guy that uh, that suffered the, the injury, eyes might have been closed. I didn't want to believe that because it didn't look that way, but I couldn't really tell initially. But when you slow it down, you can actually see his eyes were, were indeed open, even though he does his cheekbones, uh, his high cheekbones kind of make it look like his, uh, like you can see his eyes right there. I mean, this ain't the best picture quality, but his eyes are indeed open. So he, so, you know, he should be able to see. Now, um, anybody that, that ever boxed or have had severe uh, head trauma, can tell you, um, you can get hit and you can see you can see his eyes open right there as well. If you ever had any severe head trauma, which I've actually experienced this, you can actually get hit the right way, or I should say the wrong way, and experience uh, temporary blindness. That's something I've actually experienced myself, and I believe um, somewhere somewhere in between here. He either suffered some um, temporary blindness, or or he just he just kind of you know I don't want to say uh, lost his mind, but but was discombobulated. That would I think that would be the best way to put it. He probably uh, became a little discombobulated, and um, there has been an update on his condition. And uh, his name is uh, Simiso Bethelezi. And it says uh, Bethelezi was on his way to winning the WBF African Lightweight title against, I'm not going to try to pronounce the other guy's name. His opponent last weekend had been dominated about over 10 rounds when things took a nasty turn. After his opponent went through the ropes with seconds left in the contest, Bethelezi began punching at the referee as we just saw before going to the corner and throwing shots as if shadow boxing the bout was ultimately stopped with uh, his opponent being awarded the victory and Butlerzy was quickly taken to the hospital where it is in a reported that he is in a critical condition but stable condition he is not in a good health uh, condition at all doctor Bayi uh, Mabasso, I can't pronounce his last name, told South African news outlet uh, Sawantin Live. Uh, it says he is in critical but stable condition. We discovered that he is bleeding on the brain and sadly his condition does not allow the doctors that are treating to operate at the moment due to the condition. So, yeah, he's in pretty bad shape. He's in very bad shape. Um, man, the way it looked right there when the referee grabbed him just, just looked pretty sad, man. Uh, I hope he has a, a recovery, a speedy recovery. Prayers go out to his family. And um, this, is, this is definitely a scary moment in boxing. Um... As I said before, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta um, respect any person that's willing to get into that boxing ring. That is not for everybody. Boxing, at the end of the day, even though it's my favorite sport, I must admit it's a very barbaric sport. And anytime someone gets in the ring, they very well could lose their life. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. This head busting boxes on fight, Doctor I am out.